from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Wednesday, November the 3rd, 2021. Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett returned to Israel this morning from Scotland after attending the UN Climate Change Conference in Glasgow. Bennett spoke to his cabinet today about the visit and his slew of meetings with world leaders, noting that Israel's international standing is getting stronger. Bennett said there is desire by many countries, including some surprises, to move closer to us and to cooperate. We are no longer defined by the conflict or by our enemies, but according to who we are and our contribution to the world. A U.S. aircraft carrier anchored in Israel's southernmost port of Eilat today for a joint exercise with the IDF. Hundreds of American service members, the IDF said, will take part in a two-week joint multi-force training on dense urban area combat and multi-domain capabilities, adding we continue to strengthen our capabilities to counter threats in the region. The exercise is one of the first between the IDF and the U.S. military's Central Command, or CENTCOM. Israel was absorbed into CENTCOM this past September in a reorganization by the U.S. Department of Defense, alongside other nations in the Middle East. Before that, Israel had been part of the U.S. European Command, UCOM. In a sign of further strengthening ties with Jordan, Israel's foreign ministry shared that Israel's Minister of Economy and Industry, Orna Barbivai, and Jordan's Minister of Industry, Trade and Supply, Yusuf Al-Shamali, met in Jordan for the first time in a decade today and discussed a variety of ways to strengthen economic ties between the two countries. The ministry wrote that the meeting took place as part of the effort to preserve the policy of warm peace and continue to deepen ties between the two countries. They also signed an agreement, the ministry said, to expand future caps on products that Jordan may export to the Palestinian Authority, saying that Israel recognizes the importance of economic cooperation with the Jordanian Kingdom as a strategic goal and contribution to regional stability. Israel announced a new defense system to protect its residents against missiles and drones, the Sky Do Aerostat, a massive blimp. Israel's Air Force announced the launch, it tweeted, of an aerial platform, one of the largest of its kind in the world, which will be used to detect and warn of advanced threats. The Times of Israel cites Israeli Air Force Chief Amikam Norkin saying that the new system, which was developed together with the U.S. Missile Defense Agency and Israel Aerospace Industries, will enable us to build a more accurate and broader air surveillance picture. The World Jewish Congress last week announced a partnership with the group Jewish on Campus to help Jewish college students deal with anti-Semitism on college campuses. WJC President Ronald Lauder said the World Jewish Congress will in effect incubate Jewish on campus as part of our extensive efforts to strengthen future Jewish leaders. It is crucial, he said, for us to help as young people combat false narratives and to enable them to advocate effectively in their communities. Jewish on Campus CEO Julia Jassy said by joining forces, Jewish on Campus and the World Jewish Congress create an unprecedented opportunity of collaboration between the student and professional communities on an international level, giving young voices a seat at the table and the ability to act in accordance with our own perspectives on the ground. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Wednesday, November the 3rd at 7 o'clock, it's Talmud Study. And then we continue with our special programming for Jewish Book Month at 7.30 with actress Tova Feldshu, who shares Lilyville, Mother, Daughter, and Other Roles I've Played, her memoir that reflects American cultural changes and the world's shifting expectations of women in a program of the Hampton Synagogue with Rabbi Abraham Bronstein. At 8, Russian-American female writers address how the immigrant experience has impacted their lives and their work. At 9, Mark Golub sits down with author Abigail Pogrebin on L'Chaim. At 10, Sarah Hurwitz talks about her experiences as a speechwriter for President Barack Obama. And coming up next, it's Thinking Out Loud. And that's the JBS News Update for Wednesday, November the 3rd, 2021. 
I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well.